I'll tell you, Larry, I've aged at least 73 years since we've been sitting here at this table. <laughs> oh, it's so bad I can't hear and I can't talk. It's just so terribly, terribly sad to get so old right in front of everybody in America. This is very true. He has sent out for teeth twice since we sat down here. Just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cooking Teeth. <laughs> wow, we're in rare form. Hey, we got something special for you today. We're going to have a special guest. Oh! On our program. And how are we going to fix the guest? <laughs> <laughs> With a little mustard honey sauce. Right? That's right. Dear Laban and Larry. <laughs> Didn't waste any time on that one. I wanted to make sure they could hear it back in the control room. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Deborah Plymail. Good old Deborah. Remember Deborah? Yeah. Well, she wants the recipes for a show we recently did, and she wants to know, I sure wonder, how did your witch get in that kind of condition? I've wanted to know that myself. Well, I hate to tell you. This I gotta hear. But you know the gestation period for a witch <laughs> is over five and a half years. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, and she's carrying Roy Forbes' baby. <laughs> <laughs> You would have to know that that was a director several times removed on this program uh, to appreciate that remark. <laughs> Dear Levin and Larry, tell Doris to rest easy as I have the foresight to videotape the show and so do not need any recipes. Well, good for you. We're glad to see that. By the way, someone with puppets, I don't know the name of the show, has been using your kitchen witch. <laughs> You know, puppets are dishonest creatures by nature and cannot be trusted. <laughs> Some kind of security system might be in order. And here's the final thing. It says, Larry, I share your love with Pepper, but I'm not as convinced as you of its harmlessness. I had a distant cousin who died of natural causes, <laughs> according to the Valdosta coroner. However, the circumstances surrounding her passing were quite mysterious and family scuttlebutt has it she actually succumbed to pepper poison. <laughs> <laughs> That's from oh, yeah. uh, Mark Thompson of Kingsport, Tennessee. And Nan Maxey wrote in, said, Laban, I remember you some years back in the District Youth Fellowship of the United Methodist Church. Never one time thought you'd ever turn into such a gourmet cook. Well, I never thought I'd turn out, but <laughs> here I am. Christina H Hattier Neblet, who will never be able to go out oh. in public again after I read this letter. Neblet. Is she, is she, Neblet. She of, put up those cans of corn. <laughs> those Neblet corns. Of Blacksburg, Virginia writes, Dear Laban and Larry, I am a very happily married person, yet uh, uh, a very happily married student, vet student, living right down the road from y'all in Blacksburg, who only sees her husband on weekends because he's in the Navy. <laughs> But on Saturdays, no matter what we're doing, we stop <laughs> and watch your show. It's terrific. <laughs> Sincerely, Christine Neville of Blacksburg. Well, Jan, Christine, oh, well, I got just a couple. Well, I know we got a lot to do. Yeah. Dear Laban and Larry, uh, 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 it says you scald a peach to peel it, same as a tomato. A little easy thing on that. Oh, thank you. From uh, Barbara, somebody or the other, Guler of Glade Hill, Virginia. And finally, I got to show this one too because I think this is real funny. It says, here's a kiss for both of you. Oh. <laughs> and we have just about worn it off, but we have taken up on your kisses, darling. <laughs> from, uh, Take well, it as it comes. I, from Steve? No. <laughs> just joking. From Barbara Robertson of Roto, Virginia. <laughs> Let's go over to Kitsu. I'm terrible. sorry, I couldn't resist. I don't know. You just can't help it. I don't now, know what came over me. We have a special guest with us today, Rona Lang. Rona Lang? Yes. Well, and Rona, darling. Rona uh, is the result of the 1987 great television auction on public television. And she uh, is here because someone uh, paid a lot of money an appearance on this show. Are you having to pay this person back in return? No. No? Oh. You're just your appearance. Have you been looking forward to this for a long time? Yes. She's oh, worn God. all the jewelry. She just looks oh. real lovely. Oh, yes. What are you going to be preparing for us on our program? Oh. Um, <coughs> Australian meat pie. Australian oh, meat pie. Good. Yes. But mm. Larry, before she starts on that, I've got to start over here because this one takes so long. Well, I got to tell you something, darling. That's about it. That's about dollar sixty's worth. That's all you get. No, I'm oh. just kidding. We'll come back to you in a minute. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, 
I'm doing an old time brown sugar pie that Dorothy Pritchard from Dublin, Virginia sent us the recipe for. And it is an old time recipe and it does take quite, it's not hard to do, it just takes a lot of time. Get those so eggs cracked. I gotta have oh, four egg yolks and I'm gonna reserve the whites so that Bly can make a meringue, which he does so very well. Do I make a meringue or do a meringue gay? I can't well, remember which could, one it is. One I, is a dance I don't, and the I've other. seen you dance and so I think it'd be better if you just made the meringue. I'm waiting, I'm, I'm waiting to beat up on the whites. And we're gonna do something sort of unusual because we're gonna do the meringue first on a pie that I made yesterday because we wanted to you know, have a pretty fancy fied meringue on it just like it, it calls for. So there he is separating out the eggs and, and he's gonna give me the whites and I'm gonna take the whites now and I'm gonna turn them into meringue. And that's as exciting as it gets. Right. And in the meantime, I'm beating up these four yolks in a large pan. Woo! Three now. cooks in one kitchen and they said it couldn't be done. <laughs> oh, look. What? I picked up my box of Dixie Crystals and part of the state on our fine county. Wait a minute, Dixie Crystals? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and, they, and they accused me of going to the well, I won't say. But anyway, Dixie Crystals, hmm, All right, now, that's an interesting brand. You need a whole brand. box of dark brown sugar, a one pound have any, box. Do we have any vanilla, Johnson? I, have I hope so. Oh, Lord, I have forgotten the vanilla. You can't make meringue without vanilla. Because <sighs> I need it too. All right, there is that. A whole one pound box of dark brown sugar, don't use light brown, and three quarters of a cup of plain flour. I found the vanilla. And uh, a pinch of salt. All right, now. Whew, I overdid what, it. Hmm, I'm about to pass out. Over here into this pan, I've got 54 yolks. I'm adding a quart of milk. There's a quart of milk. And it takes a, a teaspoon of margarine, and I'll let me put that in real fast. Now, don't get nervous, Johnson. Wait, that's mine? Put it back. No, there's mine. No, wait, that's mine. Pig. I done took half of his anyway. He didn't know it. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Stiff peaks. And I did it all without any, what's that stuff they always say you gotta have to put in the meringue cream to make it stiff? Cream of tartar. Never use cream of tartar, have never used it. They don't believe in that at home where I come from. See, you can do it without cream of tartar. If you just got a good arm, it's a good arm, see? All right, now I've got a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of butter, a quart of milk, and four egg yolks in this pan, and it's got to, come to a boil, so that's going to take some time because we all know about this stove. In the meantime, my three quarters of a cup of flour in my one pound box of sugar is over here, and I'm just mixing them together into a copacetic arrangement a what? of sugar and starch. A copacetic what? Arrangement. Lord, copacetic. And Larry is going to put the meringue on the previously baked pie. Hang on. I don't have anything to put it on with. All right, now he baked this lovely pie. We got I don't, a startling well, that's, uh, underground <laughs> shot would be appropriate for this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Looks like well, a mud it pie. Just, it just slipped over. Now, do we go take that and we're gonna put that around on top, make it real pretty fine. Isn't that lovely? You can tell mm. I've been around the kitchen before. You don't mess around with meringue. Don't diddle around with it. Have a good time, get it over with and get it in the oven on a hot heat, I've got it up 450 degrees, and all you're gonna do is just brown it a little bit. You don't wanna bake it too much. Isn't that pretty? You may wanna write your name on the top of it, it's lovely. I would write Doris Ford on it, but it's just too long. All right, you may wanna put little peaks on it, make it real pretty, isn't that lovely? It's awful. All right, let me put it in the uh, right. oven for a couple of minutes and then brown it, and that's all we're gonna have to do with it. That's it. All right, now in the meantime, I'm just chopping up these lumps of brown sugar and the flour. Would you all be offended if I make some dough for your pie? Oh, please, would you? Well, I'm gonna start right now. Oh, good. Mmm, I hope that was meringue. <laughs> <laughs>
It was. I Thank think you. it was something left over from that last No, dough. no, 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 it wasn't. I'm going to make some dough from scratch. Yeah, you wonder where they had that doctor in here? <laughs> Are we ever going to get <laughs> <laughs> ever gonna get our guest on? I don't oh. believe she's ever gonna get on the air. Uh, sure, she's at. Are you ready? Well, why don't you show us what what's going on there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rona is going to do her recipe. Well, the recipe is just about done. I've just got a little bit here that I'm going to do to save a little time. Oh, take all the time, you got plenty of time. I love the way she talks, doesn't she have a wonderful accent? Yes. It's the first time on this show, it was never sounded like they were from down in uh, Memphis. Don't say it, don't say it, it might upset <laughs> Oh somebody. yeah, that's right, uh, now wherever. Rona, where, you're from what part of Australia? Sydney. Sydney. Oh, how Ooh. wonderful, we've never had anybody from Sydney, Australia. And how appropriate so. since Australia is celebrating their Bicentennial, Bicentennial right That's now. right. Actually, my husband and I were there for that. Oh, wonderful. were you really? Yes. Can we go? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's over. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, they won't let us into the country. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. i got to pay more attention to the show. Now, what are you doing there now? So I'm putting the filling in the pie. This, this. Uh, and yeah, what's the filling made of? Two different uh, types of pastry, mm. and the filling is made from uh, ground beef, and uh, the recipe is uh, beef stock uh, cubes and salt and pepper, and water and a pinch of nutmeg and two tablespoons of plain flour, and one three quarter cup of water extra. You need that to uh, to. Um, Ooh. Make a little extra of something. And one teaspoon of uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce? Yes, and that, uh, you, cook that for, uh, you cook that for 20 minutes. On top of the stove? On top of the stove in a, in a fry pan. Right. And then you have to let that cool for another 20 minutes. And then you make your doughs, you make your pie base, which is this. Did you, did you make your own dough? Yes. Yeah. So you make your pie ba base. Well, out Johnson and I have been making a lot of dough for years down here. And right. that's made from two cups of plain flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and two third cup of water, and two ounces of beef dripping. Or oh, I used lard because I couldn't. Ooh, hey, listen to that. That goes back to the old. That's I haven't heard that well, uh, for a long time. That's the way it used to be made at my home. Yes, really. You're getting good shots of me. So anyway, we put the <laughs> filling in. <laughs> And then, <laughs> Shut up, Jim. I have some puff pastry, which will I put on the top. You gotta get some decent help out here. Now I'm gonna put that on the top first. Ooh. I need a little water. So you gotta seal it up a little bit. Wait a minute. Now you notice she's wetting that I just on to, the edge to seal I it up. To wet that, soften that up a little, because it's a little hard. It's I'm making a homemade dough myself over here, except you I'm are. not using lard. I'm using just a little Crisco. Oh, well, that's just as good, I guess. The top one? All right. Doris is giving us... Uh, She's signifying to us. Cues. Usually, she doesn't signify to us the same way she does Harold. Usually, she smacks taking, him upside the head at home. She's taking care of me, aren't you, Doris? <laughs> that's how she signifies to Harold. She's keeping her eye on me. Now, am I supposed to give you five minutes once this goes in? Is that what, what I'm supposed uh, to do? No, this actually will take... Uh, 15 minutes. What was that five bake. minute thing I was Oh, that get. was just to, re to reheat those. Uh, oh, oh, oh no, wait a minute. Been no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Five minutes on uh, high heat. Uh, oh, okay. And then it's turned down to medium for another 10. Oh, really? That's for these. That's what I'm doing here. You're making me real nervous. I thought we'd forgot something for 20 oh, no, minutes. Oh, no, no, you didn't. You didn't. All right, my milk is boiling. So is your blood. Mm hmm. Well, we've reached a lot. Yes, here we in the have. Program. <laughs> now I'm going to start adding this flour and sugar into this this pan here. Okay, I'm pushing that all together. And I'll stir it a little bit. Do you have any tomato sauce? Do we have any? Uh, I Do have uh, some out in the car. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, leave it out because if you uh, want to try these pies, you always have to eat with the tomato sauce, a little of tomato sauce. Oh, really? You're, you're, oh, she's serious. Okay. Yes, I'm serious. Well, we don't have any on the Well, we on might have some today. ketchup. Yeah, we might have mm. some ketchup. Well, that's it. Oh, good. Same thing. Doris will check and see. I think we... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that's all right. You're, no. you're still connected. 
this is just a These lot of fun here. These darn cords are so inconvenient in your kitchen. Hot. Yes, they that are. The top oven is real hot. Oh, that's well, I'm about to work myself death on this dough over here, but I is think the, I'm finally getting it. Is this the right one for here? Is this the one for here? Well, that was on We're 500. having a little technical difficulty on the old stove figuring out what goes to where, but then Laban and I have that every week. Now that's 250. Yes. They don't only have to be. And there. as Dorothy. Now, do you want me to tell you five minutes? In a minute. Woo! Five minutes in a minute. That'd be six minutes, wouldn't it? <laughs> Dorothy Pritchard, who sent this recipe in, said that this filling would be done when it was like molten lava. <laughs> and I didn't turn it down. It, and it's already like molten lava. <laughs> I'm <got> to, look. <laughs> Can you hear that? Let me get my microphone. Let's see. All right. Oh, it is <laughs> like molten lava. Sounds like it. Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. Of course, I hope it went out over the wires. I bet uh, this could start a very large industry Now, what here. are you doing over there right I'm now? I'm putting uh, a little egg and water on the top, and that gives it the nice oh, that glazed golden look. color. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, Larry. Excuse me. If you can't beat dough around, you may as well go home. <sighs> the neighbor's been complaining now. <laughs> Larry's been beating dough around again. And this pie does make mm. enough for, uh, or this filling makes enough for two pies. And it's just perfect. <clears throat> Did we get a startling shot of the bubbling pie mixture? I think we've seen about there as much of it as we need. Now I could use that five minutes. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I hope we have it. <laughs> all right, it's all Sometimes here. time is uh, of uh, not very, well, there we go. Oh, They're putting it in the it oven. Inside so you don't burn yourself. Oh, man. I'm just about worn out with all this dough. I don't think I'm ever going to get it done. Well, it, the timer doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't so work. So we'll just, oh. we'll have to... Uh, and what can no, we will go. Be? We will go. Ding. Uh, or okay, it's right. Yes, and okay. then I'll turn it down to uh, uh, three fifty <laughs> for ten minutes. <laughs> Make sure you remember that, Johnson. I will. Oh boy, that dough it looks wonderful, Blind. Well, I don't know whether I have enough for two of them, though. That's well, kind of worrying me. I think me. you do there. Huh? I believe you do. You think so? If I get it rolled mm -hmm. out far enough? Because the uh, the filling is ready. All right. Boy, this is a good way to work out some of your tensions and everything. Yes, it certainly is. <sighs> Boink. No, I think we're coming along. Okay, where's that pie shell? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to roll out one of them for right now. And what you do, you want to take your knife there and trim that around, then I'll ball it up and we'll roll the second one off for you. See, that's how you do it. Isn't that pretty? And it's also quite flaky. Really? Just like Laban. Real flaky sometimes. Oh, here, 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 there's some more. There's some more. I know, but it, it seems to have shrunk. Oh, slid in the pan. Well, that's all right. It's great. It's plenty. It's, it's going to be a fancy pie. It's going to go and down you, in there and anyway. And you do have to bake the shell first. Now, this can also be used as a very <laughs> lovely, uh, but anyway. Le riz en croute. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> This is fun. I think we ought to have four or five people on every oh, week. Oh, I agree. <laughs> All right, I'm yeah, going to roll out the other one. Maybe we ought to look at the recipe for the Well, pie. yeah, let's do that. All and right. you've got about another minute and a half on yours, all right? Good. Let's look at the recipes. The old-time brown sugar pie. And you need two nine-inch baked pie shells. Excuse me. Now, notice he did it without knocking over the glass. Uh, three, uh, <laughs> three-quarter cup flour. One one-pound box of dark brown sugar, a pinch of salt, four cups of milk, four egg yolks, well beaten, a teaspoon of melted margarine, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And you mix the flour and the brown sugar together and the salt and all the other things later on. Yeah, that's what you do. What's that? Well, oh, I that's yours. It's yours, uh, uh, Rona. Here's your recipe. Here's your recipe. Tell them how it's done, darling. Oh, well, it's Australian meat pie, of course. 
a one and a half pounds minced steak, coarsely ground chuck, two beef stock cubes, salt and pepper, a pinch of nutmeg, and two tablespoons of plain flour. One oh, three, yeah. One three quarter cup of water extra, one teaspoon of soy sauce. Now for the pie base, you want two cups of plain flour, half a teaspoon of salt, two thirds of a cup of water, and two ounces of beef dripping. Pie top. 12 ounce packets of puffed pastry, a one egg, egg yolk, and one teaspoon full of water. All righty. That's it. Well, I'll be honest with you. I can't remember when I've had more fun <laughs> on this show. Rolling out this dough is a lot of work. And Mr. Johnson now rolled out the second one. This is a flaky crust, and that's why it's so difficult to roll out. The flakier it is, the more difficult it is to roll now, out. Now, do you expect us to believe that? No. <laughs> I was just making it up. And I'm trying to cut. Are we going to be able to get everything over to, oh, you're going to pour this in there and show us how it's done, right? How's my five minutes? Oh, uh, yes, indeed it is. Yeah, you got it. Oh, There's wow. Laban, he's doing oh, all Oh, look, the... and we've got enough dough left to make a rat's nest if we wanted to. Beg your pardon? A rat's did, nest? Did you ever make those? Oh, no, no, they didn't call them that where I came from. They, they called them some other kind With of the, thing. Or a beehive. They had another name for them. With, uh, with uh, sugar and raisins and whatever you have. ten minutes. Now, I want everybody to, uh, to see this lovely priest. Did you show this oh, to them when you took no, it No, I didn't. This is, uh, well, let's start like overhead shot. Isn't that pretty? See, just when it starts getting a little, the peaks start getting a little brown. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. And here is oh, your, yeah. okay. your interior, your pie filling, but we have to bake the pie crust first, and we won't be able to do that until we get off of the air. So how, let's see, how much time we got left? Does anybody know? Two minutes. Well, Gloriosky, we've got plenty of time. So is that pie actually coming out of the, yeah. oh it is. Yeah it is, I'm going to go ahead and dip it while you all are getting now, everything else ready. You should probably, since this, you got to bake your pie crust, you should prick the bottom of the crust. And of course some people have got fancy pie weights to keep it from swelling up. And we don't have any, so you could use dried beans. Can we get everything and Rona's over got on the her, table? Yeah, Rona, you, you want to bring yours on over to the table? Because yes. we've got to bring it on over here, darling, so we can. Oh, I'm just bring so anxious, over. I can hardly wait. Bring it on over. I've already got the pie cut, and now we're going to give it all a try. Just come on over, darling. You're right over there. That's all right. It'll follow you. Drag It'll it. just keep right on going. Drag <laughs> the darn thing. Excuse there me, I have are. to drag the thing. Oh, how lovely. Along with it. Go ahead and sit down. Thank you. Oh, should we cut one of these in half? Oh, let's do. Let's do. Let's do. I hope it's hot enough. Oh, it will be. And if it isn't hot enough, we'll, pre it is. we'll pretend like it is. <laughs> <laughs> we're real good at pretending. You want to try the sugar pie? Yes. While we're trying this? Okay. We'll do that. With my fancy meringue on the top. Tell us what you think of it, darling. Mmm, good. And mm. isn't that incredible? And we didn't pay her to do that. We didn't. Now I'm going to try the meat pie. Delicious. Me too. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Mmm, marvelous. I like that. That is, you have done fabulously. Thank you. You really have. Thank you. She and her, will have her own show next week. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, but she should. Let me try the pie. Mm. I haven't tried that. Laban, it looks wonderful. Mm. Laban and I co collaborated on this. Oh, the meringue is fabulous. Mm hmm. The rest of the pie is good too. It's all very good. I can't believe we got the meringue to come out right. I think everything <laughs> is just everything just turned out marvelous. We couldn't have asked for a better show. We've got to go see you next week. Thank you. Wait.